Hey guys, it's Bishop Sozzi here and welcome to another Ajax series episode, Football Manager 2015. This is of course the Dutch Players Only series. And uh, as you can see, it is the 16th of March, so it is not the actual, you know, title of the video, apart from the fact that it is the youth intake. And it's something I've wanted to do for a little while now, and I thought it's quite fitting, seeing as this is a Dutch Players Only series, and obviously all our youth intake players will be of Dutch nationality, or at least a very, very high percentage of them. So, um, as you can see, we've got our players in now. Um, Yonk is excited by Razima, who he feels has the potential to be one of the most gifted players to come through the youth ranks at Ajax in recent years. Going into his profile, he looks half-decent, nothing too amazing, very good uh, passing determination, good pace on him as well for a central midfielder. Um, looking at his stats there, I would probably put him into training as a roaming playmaker. He's got the good, good vision there which is obviously the equivalent of creativity. And uh, very good passing. Heading's also quite decent for someone his size at 168 centimeters, which as you know is a very small player. Um, so yeah, um, looks half decent. He does anyway. Not sure why I can't go back there, that's really weird. Um, but yeah, so he looks really good. We'll go through all the plays here very quickly, um, and then we'll cut to the next part of the video, if I can just get that where I want it. So we've got Groot here, who is a goalkeeper. Fairly decent goalkeeper, to be fair, with 10s pretty much across the board in most of the, you know, important goalkeeping stats. Obviously the 12S intricity is quite bad, as he'll be quite, you know, prone to an error here and there. Again, determination is quite good. Decision making isn't too bad either. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'll sign him. Uh, and then we got Van Bergen, who is a decent uh, centre-back, sorry, who can play right-back. Um, doesn't really look like good enough potential. Um, we'll go into the um, scout reports in a minute. We've got another central defender here who looks amazing. His technicals look brilliant. 15 tackling, 12 marking, 9 heading, 19 determination, and he's got pace to burn as well. He is very small, though, at 178 centimetres. But, I mean, I can't really be too picky. Um, the only other thing that lets me down is his jumping reach, strength, and, uh, yeah, work rate and teamwork. They're quite low as well. Positioning, obviously, can be improved with time, so not 100% worried about that yet. Um, I definitely will sign him, and he could be a decent prospect for the future, I believe. Van Dennison. Oh my God, another brilliant player. Are you joking right now? This guy looks better than the guy that they... Um, that the scout told me about. Van Den is it No, it's Dyneson. Van Dyneson. Very good. 15 technique, 12 passing, 14 first touch. Again, half decent pace. Good stamina, which is important. 15 composure. 16 determination. I think he'll be the roaming playmaker. I'll train him up as the roaming playmaker, and I might train the other guy up as a deep line playmaker simply because this guy's right-footed only, which would suit my um, roaming playmaker a bit more. Okay, so then we got Jamal Peters. Uh, he's got good determination. He's got half-decent mental stats, but everything else is quite poor. So I don't think we'll be signing him to a youth contract. Obviously, there's Razima. I'll have another look at him very quickly. Does look half-decent. but The other guy does look a bit better, to be fair. Then we have Tom Kenyon, who is from Sydney in Australia, so I don't think we'll be able to sign him. Um, I'll sign him up to a contract, but I don't believe he will take up the Dutch nationality. So he might be worth selling on in the future. He actually looks half decent, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but yeah, nothing I can really do about that. Romano, I have no idea how to pronounce that last name. I'm in Cario. I'm in Cario. I'm going with Cario. Uh, he's a right back. Doesn't look too good, to be fair. Pace is a little bit low. I think we'll let him go. No contract for him. Siriveld, left winger. He actually looks not horrible, but he isn't a natural AML, which is what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about him. We might give him a contract, I'm not sure. Then Kesterin, another winger. This time a right. Again, not an AMR. 
so we won't be giving him a contract. Van Teel, who is a AML, left winger, but not really up to the quality. His crossing is very low. Um, Cruden, who was a right winger this time, looks a little bit better, but pace is quite low. The acceleration there isn't exactly what I'm looking for. And he has very low determination as well, which is, again, something that will hold him back, I believe. We've got another Australian player here in Shannon Fraser. Damn it, that's annoying. They're all with Dutch nationality. That is because of my nationality, which is a little bit annoying. And obviously, I probably won't sign him anyway, because he's not that good. We've got Steven de Jong. Who looks like another very, very good player. I think I'm being blessed with these midfielders at the moment. He's 190 centimetres as well. That's interesting. Good jumping reach, good strength. Um, again, he's a right-only footed player, which is going to hold him back a little bit, seeing as he won't actually be a roaming playmaker because his vision is too low. He could have been a deep line playmaker. We'll see how he turns out, but he does look quite good. 18 determination makes me happy, so thank you. Um, is there anyone else left? Yes, there is. We've got John Wood, who is another Australian player. This is getting a little bit annoying. Um, he's actually not too bad either, but obviously I won't give him a contract because I don't believe he'll be worth anything in the future. And we have Verhoeven, who doesn't look too good, but he's got decent pace, to be fair. Um, five determination, though, so we won't be giving him a contract. All right, let's have a look at the youth candidate team now. And we'll have a look at the potential. As you can see, interestingly enough, Siriveld has a very good potential rating by the scouts, which is interesting, and I think I might give him a contract based on that. Um, obviously, Razima also has a four-star potential by the scouts. we got Kuistra, who was that player that I was looking at before with the, you know, quite small as a centre-back, but he's also got a three-star potential, which again is pretty good, and I can't be too picky. Um, so I picked up you know, four or five really decent youth players, I believe. Um, so I'm quite happy to see how they will develop in the future. Anyways, that's going to be it for this portion of the video. Um, it will probably cut straight over um, to the next part of the video, which will you, you, you guys will obviously know in the title. Alright guys, this is the second part of the video, which is of course the Dutch Cup semi-final. And we're taking on Fortuna Sittard. And, um, yeah, I wasn't too sure after the youth intake what I was going to do next, um, but I decided that I want to get this content out for you guys because I'm not able to do it as frequently. So, you know, a nice little live comment today with the uh, youth intake. I think that'll make a good episode. Anyway, today's lineup will be Silicon in goals, Van Ryan right back. We've got the young center back in Marani playing today. As you can see, he's improving very nicely at the young age of 18. Denzel will partner him in the centre of defence with Eric Peters at left back. Midfield today will be Vinovic as our deep lying, Duarte as our roaming, and Proper as our advanced in our midfield trio. We've got Becker and Kishner as always out in the wings today, and Zivkovic will start up front today because Kostagnos is out injured. And uh, yeah, the bench today will be Boa, Veltman, Legion, Klaassen, Nuri, Decker, who is another youngster. Very, very good left wing prospect. And Hendricks, who is, again, another striker prospect, um, who actually scored in the last game without me giving too much away. So we'll advance now. Obviously, Fortuna Sittard aren't one of the best teams in Holland. They are currently in the Jupiter League, which is the second division. And um, I think if we lost today, it would be a massive upset. And as you can see, a win today would set us up with Heracles in the final. So Heracles have already won their semi-final and they are through. So we're going to try and pump the boys up for this one. Um, I'm going to tell them to pick off where they left off because we did just win in the league. So hopefully we can continue with that type of confidence here today. And Denzel easily cuts that out nice and early. And that is 1-0 to Fortuna Sittard three minutes into the game. Not a very good start at all. It is kind of a common trend, though, that I've noticed in a lot of games this season, especially recently. We have conceded very early goals in pretty much all games. And that's a very good tackle by one of their players there. And they are looking to counter-attack against us. And uh, Briels is in behind, but Van Ryan can tackle him there and win the ball. 
Sillison now pumps it long, and Kishna easily brings that down. Brilliant ball control there. Um, but the end product is not very good. We can't find that final ball. Kishner again. Zivkovic on the volley. Oh, penalty, surely. That looked like a penalty. It looked like Becker was brought down. I guess not. Anyway, we are currently 1-0 down in the Dutch semi-cup, uh, Dutch semi-final of the, the Dutch Cup semi-final. Oh my god, that took me a while, quite a while to get out. And that is half-time. We are looking like we're going to be behind going into half-time. Unless we snag a goal here. And we do not. They pump it clear. And we will go into the break 1-0 down. So, that is not ideal at all. And I'm actually a little bit worried right now. Was it a bit of a mistake playing Mirani at centre-back there? Perhaps. Crosses it. And that's out for a goal kick. Really disappointing. Duarte with the corner. Cleared only as far as Zivkovic. Back to Duarte. Lays it after Becker. Proper. Brilliant ball movement there. Off the crossbar by Zivkovic. And we still can't find the equaliser. We are dominating now though. Peters to Kishner. And Zivkovic easily slots it home there. From inside the six yard box. So... We are level one all. I mean, this is not what I expected to be, you know, equalising. But I am happy that we've done it so far. Obviously we need to press on. We have been dominating them, like I mentioned before. We definitely have to, you know, keep the pressure on. And hopefully we don't concede straight away after... Oh, there we go. Vinovic clears. And we look like we're on the counter again. Zukovic in behind. One on one with the goalkeeper. And he misses. And he misses the rebound as well as it's blocked. Becker to cross, but it was blocked as well. 56 minute. Uh, I think we're still dominating, but they are on the ball at the moment. And that's a long ball over the top. The 35-year-old, the Groot. That's a brilliant save by Sillison there. And we come away with the ball. Zukovic heads it out. Lovely. One of their players has picked up an injury, which is, I guess, good for us in a way. But we should be winning this game, and it is the 60th minute, so I might look to bring a substitute on. Um, I'm not really sure who for. Um, maybe someone in midfield. We might bring Proper off, I'm not sure. We'll have a look. And De Groot's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper here, and he blazes it high. Alright, we're going to make a sub now. As you can see, Proper's on a 6.6. .6. We'll bring Klaassen on, who hasn't performed very well. Um, obviously, Marani's not playing well, but I do want to leave him on. Simply because I want him to get game time. Uh, we might... No, we can't do that. Alright, so just the one substitution there. Klaassen on for Proper. Entering the last 10 minutes of the game here. And Fortuna... Sitard have kicked the ball out wide, out long, sorry. Kishner now. Crosses it, but that's a horrible, horrible cross. Straight to their goalkeeper. I don't know what he was doing there. Not impressed at all. Mirani gets the ball there. And we start another attack. Becker now. Brilliant dribbling skill there by Becker. Zivkovic, 2-1, get in, Zivkovic with a brace, second goal of the game, 25, 25th of the season as well, he's actually showing um, Stagnos up at the moment, he's the uh, top, top goal scorer at the club currently, which is quite impressive, but Connor is in behind here, straight away, and he could have he could have equalised it right there for Fortuna Sitar, but they are, oh my god, Zivkovic is ended. That's not good at all. That is not good at all. So that's both of our strikers out with injuries now. We're going to have to play Hendricks for the rest of the game, but yeah, that's a big blow. Both of our first-team strikers are now out. 
That's interesting. We, we do look like we're going to win here with the uh, three and a half minutes of stoppage time left to play. Oh my god, they have equalised. Okay. To all, things just got really interesting. We've got Sam Hendricks playing up front, who is a youth player. Um, I'm going to say I'm far from pleased. And Morani looks like he's at fault for the goal again. Which is really disappointing, as I had a chance to bring him off. Could have brought him off and put Veltman in, but I didn't do that. And we could be punished for it here. Becker's in behind. Come on, lad. Finish. Finish. What was that? Was that a cross? Was he trying to cross it then? Ah. Uh, approaching half time of extra time. Please don't go to a penalty shootout. I honestly don't think my heart can take it. We should be beating this team comfortably. Magic of the cup, perhaps? I don't know. Oh, come on, Peters. Come on, boys. Kishna. Duarte. Oh, off the crossbar. Oh, my God. Oh, damn it. That was nearly a screamer by Duarte there. And that... Well, we're approaching full time. One last chance, perhaps. Hendricks! Oh, my God. He had a chance. He had a chance. Oh, my God. Run, bro. Oh, that was risky. I don't know what Van Ryan was doing then, but my heart, like, sank for that, that split second where I thought he was about to lose the ball. That's a free kick. 20 seconds left. Can we snatch a goal? Come on, boys. Please, I can't take penalty shootouts. Peters. And that's cleared away. So it looks like Fortuna Sittard will take us to penalty shootouts. And they do. Alrighty. This is interesting. Alright, Klaassen will take the first pen. Denzel will take the second. Um, we don't have very good penalty takers, I just noticed. Um, Becca can take the third. Vinovich can take the fourth. And Hendricks can take the fifth. And then, obviously, whoever after that can take whatever penalty, because I don't really care. They're all pretty much poor. Class and slots his away, which is really good start. It's why I put my best penalty taker as our first choice. Connor, the goal scorer for, for Sittard, he also gets his penalty. Hopefully this is not one of those ones where the penalties just keep going and going and going. Denzel, come on, boy. Yes, he slots his away as well. Gets in, come on. Miss, come on. And he slots his away as well, so it's two all. Who will miss first, eh? Becker. Slots away down the middle. Oh, come on, please. Oh, he's got he's got a knock. Please miss. Oh, damn it. Vinovich. Slots it away as well. Come on, boys. They've got to miss one here. Come on. And he's missed it. Blazed it high and wide. Hendricks to... And he seals it. We get it. We get the win. Oh, my God. My heart was just... Oh. I can't believe that. All right. We're into the final of the Dutch Cup. Thank God. 2-all draw, 5-3 on penalty shootouts against Fortuna Sittard, the second division team. Not the result I was expecting, but we are through to the Dutch Cup final, where we will play Her uh, Heracles, who also made the final. And um, hopefully we can get our first real piece of silverware. Um, without giving too much away, we are still currently in first, but we do have quite a few games still to go left in the season. Um, hopefully, well, the next episode 
will more than likely be the Dutch Cup final. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode today. Um, something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to you know, throw the youth intake in there because it is the Dutch Only Players series. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you could drop a like on this video, that would be amazing just to show your support, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the Dutch Cup final. Goodbye, guys.